guys and welcome to another miniature adventures review so today we're going to go back to sentinels of the multiverse and we're going to review a villain misinformation so this is a mini expansion that was originally a kickstarter for the infernal relics or rook city expansions um and basically it's a villain who well to be a twist on it was once the assistant to the the famous five uh, Sentinels, and what what happens is a uh, long story short is um, because of the multiverse, she dies in one of the realities and isn't saved by Legacy, and as such harbors a deep resentment for him. And when she dies, um, she kind of awakens in another version of herself in the multiverse um, where she didn't die. Everything else is pretty much the same, and so she starts to undermine the famous five and uh, seeks to plot their downfall that's pretty much it so let's take a look so the um the kickstarter exclusive they actually came in a, a plastic wrapped um pack this is a re-release that they did after the kickstarter um basically for those who don't and you know obviously to get some more money so the clan packs are the ones they released afterwards now why <laughs> So she has a villain icon. So some of them, some of the heroes may have a um, that icon as a nemesis. I do believe there are a couple. Uh, so according to this, she ha is a difficulty of three. She's the former assistant side of the Freedom Five, and so is Disorder from Within. So Amenia Twain, while not a household name like Tacky on a bunker, is still a name of great importance. Ostensibly, Miss Twain has been the secretary of the hero team, known as the Freedom Five, for many long years of faithful service. But really, she's more than just a secretary. When the president needs to contact Legacy Amelia, Amenia Twain delivers the message without foul. When the Wraith grabs her utility belt, she knows that Miss Twain has made sure all of her ropes are pristine. And when Absolute Zero drops off a cracked coolant hose, Miss Twain makes sure it doesn't get mixed in with the new ones. So, she plays the good guy. Which actually adds a great kind of mechanic. So here's her um, divider card. You put this in with the, the main box, which we can kind of show you in the first um, the first box. So as with all villain cards, she has a, a villain. Now you're kind of going to be a little bit confused. Well, she has no health. That's right. She does have not have any health when she's in this form. Now. And that's because, at the start of the game, you put Misinformation's villain character cards into play. Demir office worker side up. Reveal cards from the top of the villain deck until one diversion card is revealed. Put it into play, shuffle the other revealed cards back into the villain. At the start of the villain turn, if there are uh, X amount of heroes, minus one or more clue cards in play, flip Misinformation's villain character card. At the end of the villain turn, destroy X card. So... And basically, what happens is she's kind of hiding and they can't figure it out. And once they figure out enough clues, then she's revealed. Then she can be attacked. And look at the artwork on this. This is, this is beautiful artwork. Um, the, the gentleman who did it, Adam Roboto, is just amazing. And so when she's revealed, you can then attack her. And she has 45 health. So she's not one of the strongest villains, health and strength-wise. Um... But she is in the in complexity. Um, I definitely give her a complexity of three. She, um, you have to get all the clues, and that can take a while depending on the deck. So some of the cards she's got, we're not going to go through them all, but I like the back of the card. Amelia Twain is it's just kind of like office like, and it, that's just great. Again, artwork beautiful. So this one is a one shot. Each player must either discard their hand or destroy all their cards. So she's not going to actually do too much damage to the heroes. She's just there, uh, really annoying. Um, well, I mean, I guess she does kind of. I, this one is at the event, end of the villain turn. This card deals the H minus, uh, the heroes minus two hero targets with the highest um, HP, three melee damage. So I guess she's, she's basically said, hey, there's a cat stuck up at the tree. 
and such a big monster, so she sent them in unprepared. So here's one of the clues. At, um, at the end of the villain turn, destroy one hero, ongoing, or equipment card. At the start of the villain, each player may discard any number of the cards. If hero's cards are discarded this way, destroy this card. So sometimes you may want to destroy it, but other times you kind of want to build up um, and keep going until you you know get to get to where you want so there's a few of those diplomatic envoy again this card deals damage so i guess she does really um reveal the top hero cards of the villain deck put any reveal diversion cards into play so she has diversionary tactics that she can also use to kind of to get rid of some of the clue cards um and that that kind of helps keep her going and, and make her not so much an easy target um so she has quite a few of those explosion in the lab so it's almost like she's created the explosion at the end of the villain turn each player with three or more cards in play must destroy one of their cards at the start of the villain turn one hero may discard their hand to destroy this card that's quite a useful one insider knowledge she may reduce damage dealt to misinformation by one. So basically she's a case of she knows what's coming, so she's going to protect herself. Um, and there's a couple of those. Isolated hero. When this card enters play, put it next to the hero character with the most cards in play. That hero and that hero's cards cannot affect or be affected by any hero card or effect from another hero deck. That's pretty useful, especially with uh, Legacies Galvanize. So you could really do some damage and say, well, you know what? You're not you're not immune to damage from um, Legacy, um, and it could take all the hits. So that's quite a uh, you know quite a, a good card to use in combination with some of the others. Misplaced memo, and I do like that some of these are kind of secretary esque. Uh, so this one's the hero target with the lowest HP is immune to damage. So that's kind of cool. Reveal the top card of the hero deck. Um, diversions. Old lady in the street. Suspicious malfunction, hey? The start of the villain turn. Each player may destroy any of their equipment cards. Threat to the president. What doesn't kill you? So here we're starting to see she's getting resume, re revealed as the secret saboteur. So on the whole... I love this villain. She definitely adds a dynamic to the game that we haven't seen yet in, in some of the villains. Um, she's definitely a tricky one because you, you just can't keep hitting her at the beginning. You've got to make her reveal her hand, so to speak. I mean, pretty much you have to make her reveal her hand. Um, she's, she's a very, very tricky one that, uh, to play if you don't get the cards right. And she can do a lot of damage in the meantime if, uh, if if you haven't revealed her um i think thematically she does add a good element to the game you know kind of we ha there are quite a lot of cards whereby the villains have gone bad this is where a hero has gone good um so i like that um yeah there's nothing else really for me to say um Definitely, a, if you play Sentinels in the Multiverse, I would definitely pick her up. Um, she, she definitely can add add a, a bit of mystery to the game. Um, so that's all from us today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you're not if uh, if you like the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, then please consider subscribing. We also have Patreon. Um, to help keep the lights on and if you go to Hondale Hobbies um, my wife runs that and we do have some merchandise there for um, miniature adventures and that again also helps keep the lights on all right guys so keep on playing and keep your hands clean bye